The planned route for the Stockholm bypass is mostly through tunnel from the E4 E20 at Kungens Kurva under Setra, Kung's Hut, and Louvern. The tunnel continues under Wienstra, joining the E18 above ground at Ulsta, then going back underground under Javerfeltet to Arkala. From there it proceeds above ground to Hegvik, where it connects with the E4 and Norutsleden. This will create a smooth north-south connection avoiding all of Stockholm's bottlenecks. In planning Stockholm bypass, we've put a lot of work into adapting the route to local environments. This has meant that most of it goes through tunnel. The Stockholm bypass is a motorway link we need. Another huge investment currently is the city line, providing paths through Stockholm. We're getting light rail and also need other routes. This is a cohesive system allowing Stockholm to grow. I see the bypass as vital for both public transport and private motorists. We need a good bypass to have quick bus connections between south and north.